We began uh, kind of the beginning of the year praying about, praying more about, you know, the future of what we were going to be doing with school. We had uh, discussed that with uh, some family member and some friends and stuff, um, our, our small group, mm -hmm. our, uh, our connect group. And uh, just as the school year ended, we felt more and more like God was calling us to, uh, to private education. We didn't know how we were going to pay for it. And uh, that was something that um, was on our hearts and our minds. Like, okay, God, like, if this is where you want our children to be, then, uh, then please provide. One day, John was out on his mower, and I had figured out the exact amount what we needed. And I gave it to him on his tractor. He had stopped, and we were talking. I said, I just know that um, the Lord is going to provide. And I prayed that by August 1st, we would have that money. Little did we know that uh, the last day of June, uh, my grandmother, who turned 91, uh, just just this month, had uh, written us a handwritten letter um, mm -hmm. stating that she would pay for Christian education if mm -hmm. we had made that decision. About a week before August 1st, I went to visit my grandmother and still um, wasn't certain if she was paying for the whole amount or if it was just a gift towards. She asked me what the total was and I told her and uh, she wrote me a check out. This was laid upon my grandmother's heart to do. Um, we didn't call her and ask her for that, but um, she was willing to be used of the Lord and maybe she just had a prompting by the Holy Spirit that said, um, this is what I want you to do. And she was willing to listen to that and act on that. I think the biggest thing for me has just been that sometimes I view my problems, my life, you know, what we're doing here as maybe not important to God or, you know, he has bigger things to worry about. Mm -hmm. And um, I read in Psalm 121 this morning that, you know, he doesn't slumber, he doesn't sleep. Um, he cares about us and uh, he watches over us. Pastor Kevin said um, a few weeks ago, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. And that's exactly what he did for us.